Hi, I'm Shai Fishman, Product Manager at Waves. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into Curves AQ. I'm showing you how to get the most out of the plugin. While you can get amazing results just by clicking Learn and letting AQ do the rest, we wanted you to be able to completely control your sound and tweak it to your taste. And so, we reimagined everything you would do with a regular EQ, like EQing with nodes and exact frequencies and bands and cues and notches and so on, and we consolidated it into five controls, which I'll show later. Here's a track I mixed only with EQ in about five minutes. Let's hear the before and after. So what's happening here? The blue and red graphics show the plugin's actual processing. Boosts in red, cuts in blue. When you click Learn, the plugin determines what destination your sound needs. This is what we call spectral targeting, that white curve. We trained our neural networks to create five spectral targets, each personal to your track. Most smart EQs can sound good, but their curves are generic. They have a, a, a preset target built in, and they adapt your content towards their target. It's a preset. AQ doesn't give you presets. It learns your audio and creates five unique targets based on your audio. Let's have a listen to the acoustic guitar. Let's learn. As you saw, in this case, the guitar is pretty dynamic throughout and it changes its sound uh, during the track. And what I did was I actually let AQ listen to a few places in the track for uh, a more representative image of how the guitar should sound like. Let's hear the vocals. You don't turn my brown eyes blue No pressure, but I've had one too many lessons I like the results. I just think there's a little bit too much boosting and cutting going on. Look here, this slider here, the blue slider controls the entire cutting mechanism of the plugin, same as for the red one. And so if I wanted less cuts, I would just do this. Same here with the boosts. But in fact, what I really want to do is, I like this boost. I like what it does to her voice, these frequencies. What I really want to do is have less boosts here in band number three and four. And so simply engaging this slider, taking these boosts a little bit down. Same here for band number four, allows me to tweak my boosts. And so from this, Cause every time I feel like I'm we go to this. Cause every time I feel like I might get attached, I go. And I can further tweak the boost and cut as I see fit. Let's do the background vocals now. In August, oh, if I'm honest, I'm still learning to trust again. I'm begging you, you. Don't turn my brown eyes blue. I really like this curve and I'm really happy that I'm getting kind of the same curve as the lead vocal simply because it's the same sound and she's doing her own background vocal, which is a good sign. However, I want to make them a little bit thinner and here is a good opportunity to simply use this handy high pass filter here. And here's what it does to the sound. Cause every time I feel like I might get attached, I go say goodbye with out of notice, like a rainstorm hitting August. Oh, if I'm honest, I'm still learning to trust again. I'm begging you. Let's hear the background vocals with the lead vocals. Cause every time I feel like I might get attached, I go say goodbye with out of notice, like a rainstorm hitting August. If I'm honest, I'm still learning to trust again. Let's hear the drums. The 
processing is great and I love the reductions here. However, this is a drum loop and it's not very dynamic and so I don't need dynamic and static EQ. Now AQ comes built in with both dynamic and static EQ. I only wanna have the solid sound of a static EQ. And so here's what I'm gonna do. That's it. This is really great. It opens up the sound and I love what's going on here. It kind of retunes the sound of the drums by taking out those bad frequencies in the low mid. You feel as if the drums have been retuned or better sounds have been chosen for the loop. The only other thing that I want to do other than the uh, static EQ is I want to cancel those uh, cuts in the low end. I don't need them. I like the low end. I want to keep it. And so to keep this cut while eliminating this cut is as simple as canceling the cuts on the low end, and that's it. Now I'm getting rid of these frequencies while enjoying this uh, boost, and everything is gonna be perfect. Let's do the electric guitar. I can tweak, I can decide where I want the main focus of processing using this offset control. See what happens as I move it around? That target curve, that spectral target changes, allowing you to better hone your center processing point. As I play it, you'll see exactly what it does and how powerful it is. By listening to the guitar and offsetting as I listen to all the instruments together, I can easily find the perfect spot to make the guitar pop out of the mix. Don't turn my brown eyes blue. That's it. Let's do the bass. I want to show you something here. This is a bass guitar. It's been identified as a bass guitar and AQ suggested uh, spectral target curves of a bass guitar. If I wanted to change that spectral targeting from being a bass guitar to being a synth bass, it's as simple as just selecting the right category of bass and selecting synth bass. AQ makes five different unique curves for this target, this audio, but this time as a synth bass. Let's hear them. This is great, but again, I want to have a more static EQ, and so I'll do this. Now that we have all the tracks dialed in with specific individual instruments of AQ, let's do the mix bus. I'll just load the plugin out of the box with the default curve and show you what it does. Say goodbye with out of notice, like a I'm pretty happy with what it's doing in terms of boost and cuts, and you can see how it adaptively does it, but I want to be able to affect the color of this mix bus, and what I want to do is I want to make it slightly darker and brighter at places, and for that, you have the tilt control. Say goodbye with, I don't notice, like a rainstorm in August, if I'm honest, I'm still learning to trust again, I'm begging.
This control, on the one hand, is incredibly gentle. You see nothing violent is happening, but at the same time, it gives you that luxurious sound. Almost a you-can-do-no-wrong kind of feel, where the plugin knows exactly how much to do. Really, everything is tweaked and trained to not overdo the processing and make it pleasant, rich, and lush. We're done. Let's hear everything with and without AQ. Say goodbye with, I notice, like a All right, here we have another track, and all I've done here is loaded an instance of the plugin on every track and clicked on learn, and that's it. Here's the before. Dark days and pig nightmares. I barely think I just stare inside my cave. A crippled bear that'll only move if his soul's aware. But still, scared to survive, waiting for something that can't be the pride. Cause I've been deprived, too proud to hide. All the miles that I ran in the world that I designed. So that first section was great, there were no problems, but let's hear another section where I feel we can do better. In this section, I feel that we can do a better job in terms of the strings and the vocals. Clearly, there are some competing frequencies and I want AQ to resolve them. These were the strings before processing. Really big and lush, but with the vocals together, they're completely covering the vocals. So obviously the EQ is great, uh, strings sound great, there's space that, that has been made for the vocals, but I feel the vocals are not coming out as I want them to. And here's an opportunity to present to you Mix Sense, which is a feature we developed specifically for this use case where you would want to inject context into the processing. See what it does. Always looking for something A substance to drown in and swim from the pain Forbidden fruits harvest the garden of Eden I taste it to starve the snakes Yeah Savages, sages, and saints Caught in the vines and the thorns Thrown in the veins of their torn Yeah the moment I engage MixSense, you can see how the vocals that I'm sending through Sidechain to the plugin are really being taken into account and space is being made for them as they play in direct relations to how loud they play within the strings. It sounds natural, it opens up the mix, and it makes all the space that you need for the vocals which I want to protect. And all you have to do is decide how much MixSense you want by engaging this knob here. Always looking for something if I click this button here, I'm able to audition, listen to what's being reduced, the blue delta, and have a listen to what happens uh, with mix sense engaged and disengaged, and you can hear the extra reduction that's being made due to the vocals. Let's have a listen to everything now with MixSense. It's really clear how everything opens up. I didn't have to boost the vocals and volume. Thanks to this extra reduction, all the vocals are popping out. There's a dreamy quality that it now has, almost like a The weekend kind of thing that happens simply because of that extra reduction that happens on the strings. Mm -hmm. 